Hey y'all, happy weekend. I just finished getting my hair cut. I showed you the before and then when I get back from the grocery store, which is where I'm at right now, I will show you what it looks like after. It's pretty short now. I mean, comparatively, it's short. It's nice and healthy, I'm so thankful. I'm gonna go get some diapers. Oh, and hey, so you guys know, we're not at home this weekend. We are in our hometown and Zach is at work, unfortunately. Tomorrow we have a tasting with our potential caterer for the wedding, which is pretty exciting. Also today we have a birthday party for my nephew. So Rosalie's gonna have a lot of fun playing with her cousins today and I'll get to catch up with my family, which I'm so looking forward to doing. Tomorrow we have to meet with the caterer and there's a Super Bowl party because it's Super Bowl weekend, so. Focus on your hotness. Am I too close? Oh god, here we go. That's which is right there, so hopefully. We're meeting a caterer, a potential caterer, and we're having him serve us at the mall. <laughs> But this is a lot of food. We have prime rib, chopped chicken, potatoes, juicy potatoes, and cream corn. not like it's really far out, but it's very elastic, like it's very thick. Short and inelastic. Short and inelastic? Yeah, elastic means you can stretch. Oh, short and inelastic, so it's not gonna stretch a lot, which is why she can't like move her tongue properly, and it can be associated with food aversions, which is why she's such a picky eater. So I know I haven't updated you guys since I talked about this like a few months back on my channel, but we're just now getting in with the dentist because they are packed. Took us a while to get in. Did you just drop $500? Yeah. Okay, so recap. Rosalie does have a pretty severe tongue and lip type and we're gonna get it revised on April 22nd, so it's in like about three months. The recovery time, she doesn't have to be there for very long afterwards, like 15 minutes or so. Um, but then the actual recovery should be like one to three days. And we'll just have some exercises we have to do. Maybe a little more since she's older. Um, we have exercises we have to do, like lift her um, lip up for like a few seconds and then lift her tongue for a few seconds just to make sure it's not healing back to the way it was before. And she also cannot eat for eight hours before the surgery, which is crazy. So oh, it's gonna be in the morning, and I think right now she's second in line for surgery. So hopefully it's pretty early. We just had to drop $500 the day of, and.
and her surgery is not even for three months. So just keep that in mind if you're going in for a consultation. Rosalie's back here. She is watching my phone right now and all of a sudden I heard my mom's voice and I looked back and Rosalie called my mom on Facebook. A video called her on Facebook. <laughs> And so she was just talking to my mom in the back seat on my phone. But I also forgot to mention she has to go under anesthesia for the procedure itself, which I'm really, really nervous about. I don't like that. I've never even been under anesthesia, so <laughs> the fact that my almost two year old's gonna have to do it is just really scary. If you haven't seen my original video where I talked about her tongue and lip tie, um, this is something they missed when she was a newborn in the hospital because normally this is a procedure that's done on newborns, not almost two-year-olds. So that's why she has to go under anesthesia. If you haven't watched my original video where I talked about it, you can go back and look at that. But now we have answers, so I will definitely keep you guys updated on what happens. Are we getting her a McDonald's? Oh, Zach's getting coffee. Okay, well, I'll definitely keep you guys updated. I also never updated you. I swear I was the worst vlogger I could have been this weekend. The only way I would have been worse is if I didn't, is if I didn't vlog at all. <laughs> That's how bad I was. I didn't even tell you guys how the catering was and if we liked it or not. I did show you like clips of the food, but then I didn't even, I just left you guys hanging. How rude. Um, so the caterer was good. Like I, at first, it was just like I was underwhelmed with the food. Like I wasn't like, oh, wow, wow, this is good, you know? But then, upon trying it the second and third time, it's pretty good. We really liked the pulled pork. We liked the chicken. The prime rib, we get prime rib every um, Christmas Eve and it's like the best prime rib out there, so. We're a little bit, we're kind of prime rib snobs. I'm sorry, we just are. <laughs> So the prime rib was okay, but it's not our... I agree, I agree. And the cheesy potatoes were great. The, the cream corn needed salt and pepper, but otherwise it was really good. We're gonna do two meats and two sides. If we go with them, it's $11 per person, which isn't horrible. It's very comparable to a lot of other places. But I think we might try hy vee too, because they are another caterer on the vendor list for my venue, or our venue. So we'll check them out too probably, but we haven't made any final decisions. We don't want to rush, even though we are kind of getting to crunch time here with hiring vendors. So I also think we're gonna order our flowers in bulk from Costco and do our own arrangements ourselves. Cause I already have volunteers to help me, so they don't know what they're getting themselves into. But we're home now, pulling into the garage. And I'm gonna end the vlog here and hopefully get this up by the end of the day. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy content like this. And if you have a little one getting a tongue and lip tie revision surgery, make sure you hit that subscribe button or if you have the possibility of that happening, make sure you subscribe so you can share your experience with me and I can share my experience with you because it's scary. It is. And if you're planning a wedding, you can also subscribe. Peace.